Welcome back to our video for preparation of Everest Base Camp Attempting EBC. It's time to further understand about Everest Base Camp Trek in detail. We look forward you to join in our upcoming Everest Base Camp Trek. Before we move ahead, let's learn in short about Mount Everest. Everest, a peak in the Himalaya mountain range, it is located between Nepal and Tibet. At 8,849 meters, 29,032 feet, it is considered the tallest point on Earth. In the 19th century, the mountain was named after George Everest, a former Surveyor General of India. On 29th May 1953, Hillary and Sherpa Mountainia, Tenzing Norgay became the first climbers confirmed to have reached the summit of Mount Everest. Its most common Tibetan name, Komolangma, means Goddess Mother of the World or Goddess of the Valley. The Sanskrit name, Sagarmatha means literally, Peak of Heaven. Mount Everest was also previously referred to as Peak XV. It was renamed for Sir George Everest in 1865. Mount Everest is difficult to get to and more difficult to climb, even with the great advances made in equipment, transportation, communications, and weather forecasting since the first major expeditions in the 1920s. The mountain itself lies in a highly isolated location. There are no roads in the region on the Nepalese side, and before the 1960s all goods and supplies had to be carried long distances by humans and pack animals. The Himalayan mountains have long been home to indigenous groups living in the valleys. The most famous of these are the Sherpa people. The word Sherpa is often used to mean mountain guide, though it actually refers to an ethnic group. The Sherpa have valuable experience in mountain climbing, which they can provide to other climbers. Most climbs of Everest would be impossible without the Sherpa's logistical help and knowledge. An incredible adventure to the land of the legendary Sherpa and towering Himalayan peaks. Makes Everest Base Camp Trek is an epic journey that offers breathtaking scenery and rich cultural experiences. It is the world's most popular trekking trail, not only for its high elevation but also for the hospitality and welcoming faces of the locals. There are only a couple of steep climbs, lasting about an hour each, and most days involve less than four hours of walking. The thing that makes the EBC trek tough is the altitude. Base camp is at 5,600 meters, 18,373 feet, and you will need to spend one or two nights above 5,000 meters. At 130 kilometers, round trip, the trek seems quite long, but if you consider that on a typical guided trek you will only be walking for 9 out of the 12 days, you'll see that you will be covering about 15 kilometers per day. If you keep in mind that the average walking pace is about 5 kilometers per hour, the figure doesn't seem all that high. That being said, the 15 kilometers per day will not be on a paved path that is flat. Rather you will be trekking on quite rocky and sometimes snowy terrain, depending on season and altitude, that is sure to slow down your pace. When you combine the terrain with the fact that you are generally hiking upwards, gaining altitude, you can see how the trek becomes a bit tougher. Altitude is by far the most challenging aspect of the trek and is what makes it more difficult than your average trek of the same length. It is effectively a long hike at altitude, this being said it is not a tourist trek and it shouldn't be undertaken lightly and without preparation. As we have already touched based key points in our prior video, let's elaborate the same further. First, you should always check in with your doctor before taking on a physical challenge like trekking Mount Everest Base Camp. You should also refer to your doctor 
before starting any training program. One of the main concerns travelers have, before booking a Mount Everest base camp expedition, is altitude sickness. Symptoms of altitude sickness include headaches and nausea, making it the climb more difficult as you get closer to base camp. It is very difficult to predict who is or is not vulnerable to altitude sickness, and even the most experienced hikers may get it, but precautions may be taken to limit its effects. The golden rule when hiking at high altitude is to trek high and then descend to sleep low, allowing your body to gradually become accustomed to lower pressure. You should also take the trek slow and steady, to keep your respiration rate low, and drink much more water than you think you need. Hikers may also choose to use Dimox tablet, a prescription drug, that helps prevent the symptoms of altitude sickness, but you should consult a doctor before using this method. By the time you reach Everest Base Camp, you will have lost almost 50% of the oxygen in the air. The lower levels of oxygen make breathing, and any exertion more taxing, making the altitude one of the most challenging aspects of the trek. Same time, understanding the medical facilities available along the EBC trek can provide peace of mind and ensure you are prepared for any health-related challenges that may arise. Your journey to Everest Base Camp typically begins in Kathmandu. Kathmandu has several medical facilities, including hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies, where you can address any pre-existing health concerns or obtain necessary medications before embarking on the trek. Let's understand about medical facilities along the trekking route. As you venture into the Everest region, medical facilities become more limited, given the remote and rugged nature of the terrain. However, there are still several medical facilities available along the trekking route, providing essential healthcare services to trekkers and locals alike. Kunde Hospital, near Namche Bazar, is one of the highest altitude medical facilities in the world. Feriche Clinic, situated in the village of Feriche, is a seasonal medical facility operated by the Himalayan Rescue Association, HRA. Everest ER, located at the Everest Base Camp, is a medical clinic operated by the Himalayan Rescue Association, HRA, and staffed by volunteer physicians and medical personnel during the climbing and trekking seasons. Lukla also has good medical facilities. Before starting EBC Trek, recently many of medical facilities are developed along the route, some of them are seasonal. It's essential to be aware of the symptoms of altitude sickness, including headache, nausea, fatigue, and dizziness, and take proactive measures to prevent and manage its effects. Ascend slowly and allow your body time to acclimatize to the increasing altitude. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated and avoid alcohol and caffeine, which can contribute to dehydration. Take rest days to acclimatize to the altitude and listen to your body's signals. Consider carrying medications such as acetazolamide, Dimox, to prevent altitude sickness or ibuprofen for headache relief. If symptoms of altitude sickness worsen, descend to a lower altitude immediately and seek medical attention if necessary. In addition to medical facilities, it's essential to be prepared for minor injuries, illnesses, or emergencies while trekking in the Everest region. Carrying a well-stocked first aid kit with essential supplies such as bandages, adhesive tape, antiseptic wipes, pain relievers, blister treatment, and any personal medications is crucial. Additionally, having a means of communication, such as a phone with good network or satellite phone or emergency locator beacon, can facilitate timely assistance in the event of an emergency. Next to medical arrangements, one must focus on practice hikes. Best way to prepare for your Everest Base Camp trek is to get out hiking. Find some local trails, hike through your town, or just get out and walk. 
If you don't have time to walk a longer distance, then walk faster over a shorter distance to elevate your heart rate. Activities such as running, jogging and roving all help to improve cardiovascular fitness and can be completed in addition to your walking training. 45 minutes on the treadmill hill setting at a walk or slow job. Trekking to Everest Base Camp can be physically and mentally demanding, so it's important to stay positive and motivated throughout the journey. Train your mind to stay focused, resilient, and determined, even when faced with adversity. Remember, it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the journey and the lessons learned along the way. Mindfulness and meditation can be invaluable tools for mental preparation. Prioritize rest, hydration, nutrition, and adequate sleep to keep your mind and body functioning at their best. Yoga practices will help in your entire day hiking and makes your hike smooth and peaceful. It also helps to heal your stress and tired mind. Some yoga postures that develop flexibility and stretch your whole body before and during the trek will be very engaging. Our body finds it difficult to adapt to this new environment suddenly. In such cases, yoga becomes very useful. Along with all other precaution, Immunization is stimulate the body's own immune system to protect the person against subsequent infection or disease. Better get consultation from your regular doctor and apply the same further. Next and most important. Hiking, boots. You don't need to buy snow boots if you want to trek to Everest Base Camp during the optimum weather. It is strongly advised to get the best and most comfortable waterproof hiking footwear. The sole must also have high traction to effortlessly navigate rocky and mountainous terrain without slipping. Your shoes must be comfortable for you to wear. Walking is made more challenging by footwear that moves around the heel or ankle. It is advised to get hiking boots or shoes with strong traction on the bottom, ankle protection, waterproofness, and adequate mobility. Get a full size larger than the size of your typical shoes to make sure there is adequate room between your toes and the front of the boot. Also, we urge you to carefully study the instructions on footwear for the Everest Base Camp Trek. A trip can only be enjoyable if you are completely at ease and comfortable from head to toe. As we have gone through medical, practice-related and immunizations-related information. We must know best time to visit and trek at Everest Base Camp. As, trekking to Everest Base Camp is possible throughout the year. The best time to visit Everest Base Camp is either side of the late May to mid-September monsoon season. Late September to November and February to May are the main trekking months with fairly stable conditions, good visibility and temps at base camp getting up to about minus 6 degrees Celsius. January is the coldest month in Nepal. Temperatures drop below freezing at night throughout the Everest region. So, the most popular months for trekking in the Everest region are March, April, May, October and November as these months are when the conditions are at their best. By now we are aware with main points to be taken care of, but most important point on trek route is food. These hearty meals, especially dal, bhat and tarkari, provide the necessary sustenance for trekking. During the Everest Base Camp trek in Nepal, you should try Nepali cuisine with dishes like dal, bhat, tarkari consist of lentil soup, rice and vegetables, momos, dumplings and zampa roasted barley flour. Opt for fruits and vegetables rich in vitamins and antioxidants, dried fruits, apples, oranges, carrots, and leafy greens are lightweight and offer essential nutrients. Carry energy bars, granola bars, and homemade trail mix with nuts, seeds, and dried fruits. They provide a quick energy boost during breaks. Dark chocolate serves as a treat and provides a quick source of energy 
its high calorie and antioxidant content make it a great snack. Enjoy herbal teas like ginger tea or lemon tea to aid digestion and keep warm. They also provide hydration without caffeine. Most preferred is dal bhat. This traditional Nepali dish is a powerhouse of nutrition. Dal bhat power 24 hour is perhaps the most commonly heard phrase in Nepal as it is considered one of the most wholesome meals. Moving ahead to acclimatization, next most important point. Climb high, sleep low. Acclimatization is a vital process that your body undergoes when you ascend to high altitudes. With every step upwards, the air becomes less dense, meaning there are fewer oxygen molecules per breath. It's important to note that acclimatization is a slow process. Everyone's body responds differently, and there's no way to speed up your body's natural acclimatization process. That's why it's crucial to ascend gradually, giving your body enough time to adapt to the new altitude before climbing higher. To ensure you acclimatize properly during your Everest Base Camp trek, your itinerary should include acclimatization days. These are days where you stay at the same altitude, or do an acclimatization hike to higher altitudes then descend back to sleep, aiding the acclimatization process. Namche Bazar, at an altitude of approximately 3,440 meters, 11,286 feet, and Dingboch, at about 4,410 meters, 14,469 feet are two common places where trekkers spend extra nights for acclimatization. These villages are strategically placed along the trail and offer suitable environments for your body to adjust. In Namche Bazar, you can hike to the Everest View Hotel or Kumjung Village, while in Dingboch, an acclimatization hike to Nangkartang Peak is common. Acclimatizing well is not only essential for your health and safety, but it also increases your chances of successfully reaching the Everest Base Camp. It helps you maintain your strength and stamina and enjoy the trek instead of just struggling through it. Always remember, when trekking in the Himalayas, it's not about speed, it's about sustainability. Stay well hydrated, you need to be drinking water and hydrating prior to the climb. In Nepal, Drinking 4 to 5 liters per day on the trail to Everest is compulsory. Further, safety need to be addressed properly while preparation and on trek. 1. Proper training for the Everest trek. 2. Picking the correct equipment. 3. Avoid altitude sickness. 4. Avoid rapid ascent. 5. Overexertion. 6. Unstable communication. 7. Sunburn and UV radiation. 8. Avoid isolation. 9. Deep breathing on the trail. 10. Keep insurance, emergency contact numbers handy. Towards end, two important points we are addressing are insurance and clothing. Everest Base Camp Trek involves traveling to and from as well as spending time in one of the most remote regions on Earth. Everest Base Camp Trek Insurance is an absolute must for any traveler, as even small injuries, such as a sprained ankle, can create a logistical nightmare that proves to be quite costly. Most importantly, finding the correct insurance policy that covers all events and environments associated with the Everest Base Camp Trek is a big task. At the highest point of the trek, you will be standing at over 5,500 meters above sea level, while most travel insurance policies cover only up to 3,000 meters. Always read insurance documents, terms and conditions carefully. Insurance must cater to minor injuries, helicopter evacuation, altitude sickness, standard hospitalization cover, stolen baggage, cancelled flights, maximum altitude, identified route, trek duration, 24 hours emergency. By now we understand importance of training, preparation, etc. 
Improving own physical strength is key, same time we must understand what to carry and how much to carry. Your day bag should not be more than 5 to 7 kgs, or depending on your capacity. Nepal's government has implemented new regulations that require all trekkers to hire a licensed guide and porter for their journey. Porter carries up to 10 kgs for each trekker. Depending on your trek plan and schedule you must calculate max weight you will carry by self and using porter and further plan your list of items for Everest Base Camp Trek. Here is the common list of items for EBC. Long sleeve t-shirts. Short sleeve t-shirt. Heavy fleece or down jacket. Waterproof jacket with hood. Rain poncho. Fleece pants. Trekking pants. Waterproof pants. Warm thermal socks. Sufficient pairs of undergarments. Camp shoes or tennis shoes. Sunglasses. Gloves. Duffel bag to be carried by porter. Daypack bag. Water bottles or hydration bladder. Sleeping bag. Trekking poles. Headlamp with extra batteries. Quick drying trekking towel. Snacks. Rehydration gels or powder. Toiletries. Sunscreen. Toilet paper. Medical kit. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Wet wipes. Portable solar charger or power bank. Important documents. Passport. Visa. Currency. Insurance. And, you are all set to take challenge of EBC. Slow and steady wins the race. Getting the pace correct is critical to your success on the Everest Base Camp Trek. Hope this information will help you in planning of EBC. Video contains general information, depending on trekking agency some contents may vary. This video will help you in understanding Everest Base Camp Trek and necessary steps to be taken before and on trek. We look forward your joining in our upcoming Everest Base Camp Trek. Booking for September, October as well for April and May batches are open. In description we will add necessary links and contact details or information for trekking gear purchase. And also information related to insurance purchases. Make your dream come true. Join Happy Picks Tourism, Everest Base Camp Trek. Do share video with those who are preparing for EBC. Thank you for your valuable time. See you soon. Have a nice day ahead.